back! Um, I'm so excited to be back. I missed you guys so much, and I really want to thank everyone for, like, letting me have this opportunity to go to Haiti, those who donated and those who prayed for me. Like, it was such an amazing experience, like, really indescribable. Um, but God was there, and He showed up, and it was amazing. Um, yeah, and thanks for letting me go on this hiatus where I didn't have to worry about, like, recording things or, like, videotaping things. It was more just, like, focusing on them, focusing on God, and just seeing what awesome things could happen. And, yeah, awesome things happened. Um, so, yeah, I just want to give you guys, guys, like, a general recap of what happened. I'll show you guys some photos and um, talk about the experience. Um, yeah, so here's some photos. Okay, so these boys were like my whole heart. It was Sun Sun, Duca, and Ecclesiastes. Oh my gosh, and this is Sane for Love. You just like smile at him and he smiles and it brights up your life. And then um, the boys would crowd around this small little TV when we had electricity, but that was not often, to be honest. Um, and then we helped uh, one of the older boys, Emson, teach an English class, and that was really fun. And we got to learn Creole, too, so that's cool. Oh my gosh, the boys were so good at puzzles, and they were just super focused when they did them. They were so proud of it, they wanted to take a picture of it, so I let them, and that was this. Um, oh my gosh, this is B. Wason, and he is just amazing. And he liked the ukulele that I brought, and he would strum it and sing, as you can hear. And then we went up the mountain one of the days, and the weather was so much nicer, and it was so beautiful. Um, they had a playground up there, so they got to play, and they had a blast. And some of you heard about the incident that happened with one of their dogs being poisoned when there was a robbery. Um, but near the end, they got new puppies. Yeah, so that was just a little bit of highlights, but you can always reach out to me and I will gladly tell you about everything that happened. There was so much. God moved so, 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 so much. Um, and I think the biggest takeaway I have from like this trip and this experience is that I need to expect God to show up. I think a lot of the time I wasn't expecting much to happen, but God was moving and he brought about like super intentional like conversations that I didn't expect or um, he delivered on like prayers where we really needed him to come through. And it was just so cool to see, like, I was taken aback, like, I was like, is this, like, for real, you know? But I, I think that we could experience just as much of God here in the U.S. as I did in Haiti if we were to truly seek Him out like I did, like, like people do in Haiti, you know? There's no distractions there. I was just waking up seeking God, like filling up with his word and then going out and just loving on the kids. Like I was filling up to pour out. And that if I live that, that if we live that way in America, I think God would move just as strongly. So that was my huge takeaway, like to live so intentionally to fill up and then pour out and love on everyone. So yeah, um, thank you guys again for everything. And I can't wait to share more. Okay, guys, have a great night. Bye.